Jai Karalių Bučiau, muzika ir žodžiai Edmundo Kučinsko, koreografija Jolanto Stendienis, šoka Vietoros vaikų. Hello there, travel lovers. Hi, so today is the 6th of July, 2019, and this day is actually a very important day for Lithuania because today is the day when we celebrate the coronation of the only king of Lithuania, uh, the King Mindaugas. So this morning, I got a text from my friends saying that there's going to be a special event going on in front of the president's house. We must go there. And oh my God, as soon as we arrived, we knew that we had come for a very good reason. Mm -hmm. There were so many people there, everyone wearing traditional clothing, there was a military parade, mm -hmm. a gun salute, they were raising the Lithuanian flag in yeah. front of the uh, president's house. Yeah. Um, it was just so overwhelming and emotional. And actually we managed to see the current president of Lithuania in real life and for me that was the first time seeing her with my own eyes. Um, yeah. Her name is Dele Grigoskete. But recently we had elections so we have now a new president, he's a guy, and I think his last name is Noseda. So we're going to run a few clips of what basically happened so you get a better understanding mm -hmm. of the event. You were like, were you crying? Yeah. You were a bit, weren't you, yeah. actually? Plus it was sunny, so it was like squinting. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right. Oh, that's so cool. My friend, she actually sent me these clips from um, from the UK. Yeah, so she was watching maybe Lithuanian online, channels. was it? Oh, Lithuanian channels on TV. Oh, right, yeah. okay. And wow. uh, she lives in the UK, and then she's like, oh, you're a star. <laughs> The weather here in Vilnius is unpredictable. It's changing every hour, isn't it? Absolutely. Rain, yeah. sunny, wind, no winds. Yeah. It's, it's insane for July. Yeah. Is this normal, would you say? No, I don't think it's normal. It's usually nice and sunny. Yeah. So here behind me, guys, you can see Gediminas Castle. It's one of the most historical landmarks here in Lithuania. And uh, Gediminas was actually the Grand Duke of Lithuania, and he was the founder of Vilnius. Uh, and it was actually found in 14th century. Now we're gonna try and climb that hill. <laughs> Fingers crossed, we still got some energy left. And yeah, hopefully we're gonna be able to see Vilnius from the bird's eye perspective. So we just started climbing. 
The path is very, very uneven. It's full of massive rocks, isn't it? I'm going to twist my ankle <laughs> again. <laughs> but we're, we should be all right because we've actually been running for the past five weeks. Yeah. Three times a week, 3K. Uh huh. So hopefully we're a bit fitter than we were. Hopefully we have more before. energy. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm out of breath already. <laughs> so we're almost there, but we just noticed that there's so much construction going on. Look, everywhere. I guess they're always trying to improve this castle. Oh, there's the stairs that we just came up. Yeah. It wasn't that bad, was it, actually? Okay, as you can see, guys, the castle, also known as Gudevinus Castle, is considered a symbol of Vilnius, built at the beginning of the 14th century and replacing an earlier wooden one. Wow, so there used to be a wooden castle here before, which is very interesting. see the kind of the newer side of the city where the high rises are, the old town. What's that? Is that a TV tower? Yeah, that's a TV tower, yeah. Did you say that was a restaurant as yeah, well? Yeah, there is a restaurant at the top and it's right. like around the tower, 360. Oh wow, do you know if it's expensive to go up there? I think it is, yeah. Is I it? think I've been there once, like right. in my school. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite pricey. It's really nice up here, yeah. actually. Despite the construction, you get a nice view of the city, so that's always worth it. Mm -hmm. And it hasn't rained yet, so I thought by looking at the sky it was going to be a huge thunderstorm yeah but it's okay we've survived yeah so what's the plan after this you seen a beer maybe yeah well there are still lots of events happening um, because of obviously this important day for mm. Lithuania so we might go to a Lukashku square uh, which is like the main square for events and concerts and stuff like that we'll come back on a sunnier day yeah I think it's just so windy look at this it's what crazy. the hell yeah, let's go get a beer somewhere. Yeah, let's go to that Lukashku Square and then we'll come back here on another day. Okay, so we're at Lukashku Square this is the square where there is lots of events happening because it's such a special day for Lithuania. So right now, we're sitting on the patch of grass. We got like some non-alcoholic beer, guys. Can you believe that? Um, but yeah, non-alcoholic beer is pretty popular here in Lithuania. And actually, it's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, really nice, yeah. uh, The one that we have is raspberry, isn't it? Yeah, raspberry citrus. And then we also have, I guess, uh, green lime and lemon. lemon, yeah. So there we go, guys. We're just gonna chill here for a bit. We've got performers right in front of us. Very nice, very traditional, very folk, isn't it? Are you hungry, Justina? I'm so hungry, yeah. Me too. Now, are we going to have a Zeppelin night today? Not today, we're going to have to do a separate video on that. I think so, so what are we going to have tonight then? Uh, something else. <laughs> yeah. There are lots of different options, yeah. Did you say we have one of these restaurants in uh, Peterborough? Back yeah. Online? It's very popular. What's Chain. it called? Uh, I can't even begin to pronounce that. Bernalu? Ziga? Or Ziga? Ah, okay, close. It's like, um, boys pub. I like what the wait staff are wearing. Yeah, yeah, traditional they wear like traditional outfits, outfits yeah. yeah. And, like, the look of the restaurant is all like very folk and traditional. Just spotted Peterborough. So that's where one of the branches are. And there's a couple in London as well. Southampton? I told you, quite yeah. busy. Yeah. So we didn't even need to come here. We could have just gone up the road back at home. <laughs> There's literally a page here in the menu that says snacks to accompany beer and wine. Loads of different options like fried bread, I saw Lithuanian cheese, and smoked pig ears. So there's loads of different things that you can eat with beer or wine, depending on what you kind of get. So yesterday we had the uh, fried bread, and I said to Justina, shall we get some, but you're not sure, are you, today? Yeah. Are we getting beer? 
No, we are getting beer, but, but I thought you wanted the cheesy bread as well, yeah? Yeah. Cheers. And I think you finally received what you wanted. Oh, unlike yesterday. Let's yeah. have a look. Yes, exactly what I wanted. Fried bread and cheese melted hot. Nice. Just to go nicely with beer. Look at that. Oh, I'm in heaven right now, guys. That's the reaction. What do so you good. think? Mm -hmm. After eating that now, comparing to yesterday, it's ten times better. Well, isn't this it? one has a lot more calories. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's very cheesy. Yeah, but uh -huh. it's really good. Yeah, I like it that it's warm and soft. Yeah, exactly. When you bite into it, it's like really soft, isn't yeah. it? And moist. That wow. word again. Moist. moist. Yeah. Just zoom in. So my meal has arrived. I've ordered a pork steak with some potatoes and a cup of sauces there. What's Justina got? Um, similar to yours, a little pork steak, but like yeah. a pork pate, yeah. mashed potatoes, beetroot salad, and nice. uh, pickles. Yeah. Lovely. I love that. What we're doing after this, we kind of need to hurry up. What is. Uh... Yeah, so in the next 30 minutes, we're gonna go back to the place where we were before, Lukashku Square, and uh, there's gonna be a little event going on there. There's gonna Gonna be like two comedians talking on the stage. I know that it's not really that fun for you because <laughs> you're not gonna understand any jokes, but it's okay. I think it'll be fun for me, so <laughs> I'm being selfish today and I just wanna like have some like things going on for myself. That's, that's fine. Yeah. Do you know, I'll just film it, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. All right. And then at nine o'clock, uh, everyone should stop and actually sing Lithuanian hymn. Okay, so yes. like the national anthem. Exactly, national anthem. You can see guys, lots of beetroot going on. That is kind of a typical garnish to have here in Lithuania. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Justina, that was such a big forkful. That's really good though. Yeah. I love the match. <clears throat> <laughs> I love the mashed potato, it's really nice, really creamy, really good. Okay guys, so it's currently 10 o'clock in the evening and we just came back to our apartment. Mm. We left at 11.30 this morning and oh my god, we spent all day out and about yep. celebrating the 6th of July, which is the coronation of uh, King Mindaugas. Yeah. yeah. So would you say that you're very proud to be Lithuanian then? I feel like I am, yeah, especially that I'm here now and yeah. obviously from all these concerts and ceremonies. Um, all these different events they yeah. actually bring you like so many emotions yeah and oh my god guys we got emotional like so many times and not just yeah. me but Misha as well I yeah? was full on crying uh -huh. this morning like <laughs> something just came over me 
it was just everything coming together like all the presidents were there the old the new mm -hmm. the gun salutes all of the military guys mm -hmm. they just looked so nice even a few of those guys were crying and yeah. I just got like caught up in emotion I would say exactly so exactly. even though I'm not Lithuanian I could still appreciate kind of what it means to be Lithuanian mm -hmm. um, so yeah it was a really lovely day yeah I would say that even though there are so many of us leaving Lithuania and migrating to other countries especially mm. to England yeah I feel like Lithuania as a nation is still a very patriotic country I would say that yeah. actually that's the mm -hmm. one thing well one of many things that I would say is true to Lithuanians mm -hmm. you guys if you're watching you are very very patriotic mm -hmm. to your country I feel like it is getting better and better and better that, but everyone's leaving <laughs> <laughs> maybe some of them are actually coming back you know well yeah. when uh, when we asked your dad whether he likes England he was like yeah it's okay but I think he will end up back in Lithuania in the end don't yeah. you think for retirement yeah, and stuff like that maybe do you think you'll ever come back to live in Lithuania mm. Is that a tough question? It's a tough question. I do love England. Mm. Yeah, we'll leave that question up to fate. Mm -hmm. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna end this video here, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. We know that the weather was a bit strange, but... Yeah, today's weather was really weird. But we really hope that we're gonna get some more sunny days in the future as it's only the beginning of July and we still got a whole month left here. So if you are excited for our Lithuanian series, make sure you subscribe to our channel because we're gonna post so many more videos mm -hmm. and make sure you like this video so it helps us to be recognized uh, on this huge platform called YouTube mm. and uh, yeah share this video with your friends and as always cheers to Frida okay. oh before we go mm -hmm. I have decided that Justina, <laughs> bless you, Justina I have decided. <laughs> has to give you guys at home a new Lithuanian word to learn including me mm -hmm. I already know this one but Justina what is today's Lithuanian word well I thought that we should start with base so labas is hello in Lithuanian okay. so whenever you meet each other you say labas 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 Misha labas Justina mm -hmm. there we go labas everyone at home and it's very simple l-a-b-a-s now that the video is done we're gonna go for a run we still got to do our three kilometers yeah we said that we're gonna do three individual runs every week yeah and this is our second for this week well not even we only did one yesterday and i can't even get the courage to do well, this the is what i mean one. this is second today that we're gonna do are we gonna do it though yeah well it's you really said let's late. go for a run it's really late mm. half term <laughs> but if we don't do it now then then that's it then we're we fail our routine guys we're going for a run we have Goodbye. to What's the Lithuanian word for torture? Kankinia. 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 <laughs>